this video, we're going to take a look at one of the most underrated features in Dynamo, and it's been there for a little while. A little spoiler, it makes the wires orange. So if that seems interesting, check out the rest of this video. All right, so these little orange wires are actually a mode in Dynamo called Show Run Preview. So if we go to the Preferences menu, I'll turn it off just to reset, and we'll look at our Dynamo graph real quick. So I encountered this recently on a Dynamo graph that was doing a really big computationally heavy process within Revit. I was using the VASA package to collect solids from a model and do a bunch of different stuff with it. And as you can see, my graph just ran because we're on the automatic run mode. I'll disconnect this portion. And in Dynamo, there are a few ways to work with elements. A lot of times things like creating a circle are very fast. So if I slide this slider, we'll see that that circle creates really quickly. Another interaction like getting all of the solid geometry from all the walls in the model is a bit slower though. So if I plug this in, we'll see the little cursor start to turn and Dynamo has to think a bit harder in order to extract solid geometry from a model. It's actually extracting it from 180 wall elements. Uh, so that's a heavier interaction. Why is that important though? So a lot of times when cleaning up Dynamo graphs, I'll start to do things like, we'll disconnect this, or we'll go ahead and double click for a code block and we'll put uh, value one and value two just to make it simple. I'll start to do things like this to where I have kind of before pins existed, a pin in my model or in my Dynamo graph of a code block. I would then disconnect this and now I have that kind of branching outward to indicate where a graph kind of splits. So that's kind of a cleanup strategy that I've employed in the past and it, it works really well for that. The thing is, if I were to connect these, so I'll connect radius, as I update this in Dynamo, this code block is now updating this output as well. So if I were to connect that, the element solids is running. I know that because I've went through this already, but if I were to change this slider, we will start to see some of this stuff change. So we'll do, we'll kind of preview. We'll change those values, I'll unplug it and it will start to refresh. So it is a bit of a hit or miss, but if I were to plug that value back in, it refreshes that entire code block. It's something that is a little concerning. So in order to visualize that, we do need to toggle to the manual run mode. Reason being, if you go to Dynamo Preferences, Run Preview isn't selectable unless you're actually in the manual run mode. It's kind of hidden. So we'll go to Preferences, We'll toggle show run preview on. We are in manual run mode. And now if I change my slider, we will see that Dynamo is wanting to update both of those outputs. This is really important to know because if I'm making changes to something, I wanna know what all it affects. This example is fairly minimal and it's not always refreshing. Uh, if we were to change this input, so if we had something like a toggle, it probably would change to where we would see that value change more often. Uh, this one's, like I said, just a minimal example to show. So if we were to do this, we'll just toggle that. We'll see that as that input is actually changing from different nodes, it will take longer to run. And that's because it is having to refresh both of those ports. Like I said, this was a bigger deal than the other example I had that took a while to run for VASA. Uh, but yeah, it's an interesting thing. And the run preview is great. Uh, I've been using it. I leave it on now. A lot of times I'll build graphs in manual, um, I'll build graphs in manual run mode. So I like to see what's going to refresh as I make changes. That way, as you're making changes to your graph, you can visualize that. Uh, so there it is. I encourage you to check it out. It is the run preview. It makes the wires orange. That way you see what's going to happen as you're working. Another extension to try is the tune-up extension. I'll include a link to that below where I demonstrated that a bit. And it tells you how long each node takes to run. So as you're cleaning up graphs, especially if you're upgrading to Dynamo 2.13 or up, 
it's a good chance to kind of QA your graphs and see what all they're doing uh, and why they might be a little bit slow. So yeah, hope that helped out and thanks for checking out this video.